So I read in an article where you talked about like, you know, for the for the part of Infinity War that from January to April that was like really intense, especially in your film career and stuff. And I was just very curious to know about like how do you guys time manage working on these projects? Like do you even have time to pee when it comes to working <laughs> on Marvel properties? And then also to compare it to like, you know, from your times of working on the yards or like John Dunn, like has your time management changed drastically since then? Well, Here's the thing. It's like it's like any project, and I'm sure you guys have all experienced this. It, I mean, I remember this a lot from being b before I was a filmmaker. Like just you know, in in school, you you end up with you know the, there's a period of time before um, you know uh, finals or what, things just get really intense because you don't everything kind of gets focused down to what you need to do. So when you have a big project and it's got to deliver, there's so much that goes on that all the other things in your life have to kind of just get put on hold. And that's the pro the period I was talking about. It's basically from from uh, February, March, April. Those three months are so crazy on these movies because we're doing we have to everything is going in there for the last time. There's no more time. There's no more second chances on it. So and you know it's going out to the whole world and that's a huge amount of stress because it's like it's got to be right. It's got to be right. And every t there's there's mistakes in the movies. I, I freely admit them. Um, and some of them I actually am fond of. Um, um, you know, I'm, I'm actually completely at ease with Ant Man uh, shoving a Leviathan into a portal when he's supposed to be in the van. But uh, the 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 um, what's important is that you maintain like a, a, a perspective on it because you got to be clear and, and be thinking clearly. Um, so y you can do that. You can have that intense work period, but you also need to make sure you have time to recover afterwards. And every movie has those moments on it. And every movie is a little bit different. The Marvel movies have these hard release dates. Sometimes you'll work on movies where there's no release date and you're really fighting with the studio about what to do with the film. And you haven't decided when it's going to come out. And nobody, maybe the director and the studio are at odds. That's, that's happened to me before in my career. And the, you know, the director wants one thing, the studio wants another. And that you're battling for sometimes for months over how to ed the, edit the movie. That's a different kind of stress. So it's really every project's a little bit different, and um, and you just have to be able to you know c control, no drama, stay focused, support your director, and and do do the best job you can, and be true to the movie. I mean, it's really th about thinking that way, and then save time for yourself and your family. That's really the key.